paint like steal from this African experience and living in this existence and just doing what comes from always having to revolt or go against something that's not built for me yeah man when I'm creating this stuff I'm mostly just I'm still just doing what I think of what I imagine no nah, man it's absolutely facts I got like 25,000 paintings a lot of drawings more than that more drawings than paintings I got like six seven hundred albums and I got like three or four hundred albums that I don't even put out. Many can't respect to who you are until they can't see you no more. And then even at that point, since they can't see you, they still don't know how to respect. But you gotta give up on getting respect. You just gotta respect yourself. And a lot of drawings and stuff that I don't put out. Yeah, I pretty much draw or create something just about every day. At least for the last 25 years straight. Just. I don't keep up with it like that, but I hate stupid questions of people asking how do you do something or what, how much you have. I'm not of the peer group that's always accepting of everything and trying to do stuff for money and fame and opportunity. I create because it's just what I feel. It's from my heart. I finish every picture. I finish every thought, every idea that I do. You know, I don't, I'm not into pop culture and trying to conform or adapt or do anything just to be liked. You know, paint pictures that the man mainstream like and people like or creating designs and all this stuff if I'm doing a t-shirt or doing jackets and stuff shoes I'm not doing it to like be liked or fit into what somebody else already did or create based on what some other artists already create from I don't think you should bite or copy or clone what you create from it kind of make you look like you ain't thinking or using your mind you know it's so much mind space to use you know makes me almost proud to be left-handed or something i guess for me being left-handed is some form of creativity i don't know what the heck any of this colonial oppression means you got to respect yourself and from that true respect your true self will always be that's the, the best self is the one you are for yourself because i've never lived life in need of outsiders or outside views or opinions all self-contained marcellus lovelace 75 dab bco 70 lamumba black in space lbs aco all the crews you know ml 7102 nephew of frank joe left hand stick to myself stick to my guns know what i do you know what i mean it ain't like doing something for anybody else never do anything for other people I just do what I do for me. Nappy nine follicles. And if anybody want to get some art from me or something, you could just ask or you could buy it just like anybody else. I don't like dealing with people a lot, but whatever. You know, you could ask. No, but in real life, it's only like two people I trust with my art. Like, just in general. My brother and my cousin, Derek. My mother, my family. But mainly, my boy Wade, no. You know what I mean? But for the most part, I don't trust nobody with my life like that. You know, that's my life. I know they got my back. A lot of people don't really got your back. They, they judge you. 